lose him here on three and two. Let's go, Yankees. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. The minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way. But it's one of those situations where you, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Teixeira, two down. Jackie Bradley Jr. will step in. One for two in the ball game. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. And it remains five to two. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Now a swing and a miss as Ellsbury's down on strikes for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And in steps Derek Jeter. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And he'll flip it over to Lester for the out. Carlos Beltran will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. And this one misses for ball four. And the Yankees get a base runner here with two away. Mark Teixeira will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Lead by Beltran, and now the pitch. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Now the 2-2 pitch. Fouled straight back. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. And now three, two, two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. Three, two, here it comes. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. One left for the. Shane Victorino will stand in as he'll lead things off for the Red Sox in their half of the sixth. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch, and they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Full count now, three and two. Johnny Gomes waits on deck. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. Johnny Gomes will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. Now a big swing, and this is a major league pop-up. Way up there toward the center of the diamond. And this is taken in for the second out. He's looked good here since coming on. You know, the problem is... You just don't know what you're going to get from this guy sometimes, but he's done everything right so far. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Gardner has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On to the bottom of inning number six. It's the Red Sox five. Brian McCann will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Can't imagine guys like that too much. 
Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Now the shift won't matter here as this is skied out to center field. Should be no trouble for Bradley, and there's out number one. And here's a look at his pitches by inning so far. He's up to 82 now, so he's been able to keep that count fairly low and not run up too many high-stress innings. Come on! And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. And you know what? That's not a big breaking ball coming up high and tight. That's going to get your attention a little. And look out. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. That's an easy take right there on the 3-2 pitch. Not all that inviting at all. You want to at least make the guy think about hacking up there. Instead, now, he's on with one away. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Gomes is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Whoa, and as a pitcher, you hold your breath any time a ball's hit in the air at this place. But luckily, he got under this ball a little bit too much, and that runner has to retreat back to first base. Now Lester deals the 1-2. Oh, he waits back on the change there, and this is hit high and fairly deep out to left. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And a relay home. And Pierzynski's tag will not be in time. He's in there at home play. So a runner at second. Two down now. And standing in is the fine second baseman, Brian Roberts. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Jacoby Ellsbury will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. And now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to fairly deep right field. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he cracks it down just shy of the wall and the side is retired. Back here in the Bronx, the defending world champs out in front as we take a look there at the game summary for the first six innings of play. David Ortiz will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first takes care of Ortiz as the shift works to perfection that time. One away. So the leadoff man gone, and that'll bring up Mike Napoli. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Up with it is Jeter. Throw on to Teixeira, two down. You just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. They get nine in a row, he's set now. Xander Bogarts will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. We see Derek. Burke Badenhop will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Burke Badenhop. There you see Derek Jeter now. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. This is sharply hit back up the middle, and the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. The 
good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Carlos Beltran will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. And he's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Swing and a miss as he was way early on that one, three and two. Yeah, it's so hard to stay back against a guy like this. Unless you guess right, that thing's just so slow that it's almost impossible to keep from getting out on your front foot. Now a ball sprayed fouled into the seats near third. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Boy, and just a great call that time to turn to the changeup. That's one of those at the plate where you don't even wait for the umpire to make the call. You know you're a goner. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. He'll try it again, three and two. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Hit hard but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Brian McCann will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much to it. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. Getting it in quickly is Gomes, and that'll force the runner to hold up at third base. Junichi Tazawa will come on now really needing that double play ball as the bases are loaded here with only one man out. Alfonso Soriano will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Brett Gardner will dig in now, needing to come through here with the bases loaded and two men out. And this is hit hard to the right side. And that hook's just foul. Boy, not by much more than an inch or two there. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one. And the side is retired. A.J. Pierzynski will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Eighth inning now from Yankee Stadium. Yankees and Red Sox with Boston out in front in this one as you get a look at the line score through the first seven innings. Will Middlebrooks will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Swing and a miss as he starts the frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here. Three in a row going back to the last inning, and there are two away. Jackie Bradley Jr., will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. Play. 
Hit hard. Foul. The payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Eduardo Nunez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Swing and a miss on the fork ball. He's behind in the count now, one and two. And that's right where you want to be with your specialty pitches. If you can start them knee high and let them dip out of the strike zone, you'll have a lot of success with locations like that one. To two balls and two strikes now. Looked like the fork ball that time as he swung through it for out number one. First bull inning to work for him here out of the bullpen. Now remember, he got the final two outs of the last inning. He starts this inning off right by getting the swinging strikeout. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and two now. Now the one, two. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. And that is a foul ball, just missing extra bases deep in the corner. This will be handled by Pedroia at second. Throw on to Napoli, takes care of him. Two away now. Jacoby Ellsbury will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. Out in front of the fastball here as he lifts a fly ball out toward right field. Victorino is under it, and he makes the catch for out. Shane Victorino will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. And a fastball that's lifted the other way out to left. And the leadoff man retired here to kick off the ninth. Johnny Gomes will stand in. He popped out in his last time. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Dustin Pedroia. We'll get another crack, one for three thus far. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Look at the stop. And the throw to first just about takes him out as it skips up and over him. Now luckily, the right fielder gets it in quickly, though, so there'll be no further advance. Well, this game can certainly humble you at times. He makes an A-plus play just to get a glove on the ball, but that throw completely misses its mark. So for all his efforts, he'll wind up getting hit with an air. Unfair. Both teams with eight hits in this one. There goes Pedroia. Pitch outside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. So no runs or hits here as the error turns out to be unimportant. Nothing in the Boston ninth. Last chance for the Yankees. They'll be... Your attention, please. So now a move to the bullpen here in the ninth as they'll 19, hand the ball off to Koji Wehara to see if he can finish this one off. So the shortstop, Derek Jeter, will step in. One for four in the ballgame. 0-2 pitch to Jeter. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Well, this is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. 
Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. And when he's down 0-2, oh he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Gomes is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Carlos Beltran will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Bases are empty, one man out. Now Beltran swings and hits a ground ball to short. On to first in time, and the Yankees are down to their final out now. Mark Teixeira is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. And he's right on the fastball there as this is hit pretty well out towards deep left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Ichiro Suzuki will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Two out here and a runner at second. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. Foul back. Now here's the ball skied down the left field line. Gomes is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. And fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, and I think we probably could have given this award to three or four different people, but you definitely can't overlook his contribution. He really played a great ball game. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. The Red Sox win it 5-3. to three. So long from the Bronx.